10 Millionaire Skills, A Path to Financial Mastery Imagine having the knowledge, the insight, the wisdom to guide your financial decisions, to navigate the complex world of money management with confidence and ease. That's what financial mastery is all about. It's a journey of constant learning and growth. Today, we will explore 10 essential skills that millionaires across the globe have mastered. These are the building blocks of financial success, the skills that can transform your reality. So, if you're ready to embark on this journey, let's dive in. And remember, for more info, don't forget to click the links in our description box below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. The first step on the path to financial mastery is understanding financial literacy. It's a must for success, the lighthouse guiding us through the stormy seas of economic uncertainty. Without it, we're like sailors adrift, subject to the whims of the financial currents. Financial literacy is more than just knowing how to balance a checkbook. It's understanding the complex world of finance in a way that empowers us to make informed decisions about our wealth. It's comprehending the nuances of investments, understanding the implications of interest rates, and recognizing the impact of economic trends on our personal finances. Think of financial literacy as a toolbox. Each tool within it, from understanding the intricacies of a mortgage to the complexities of the stock market, equips us to build a sturdy financial house. A house that can weather the storms of economic downturns and one that can capitalize on the opportunities of financial upturns. Now imagine that toolbox in the hands of a skilled craftsman. That craftsman is you, equipped with the power of financial literacy. You have the ability to shape your destiny, to mold your wealth in a way that serves your life goals and aspirations. The power of financial literacy extends beyond the individual. It ripples out into our communities, contributing to a society that's economically informed and thus economically empowered. A financially literate society is a strong one, capable of withstanding economic shocks and thriving in times of prosperity. So how do we cultivate this vital skill? It starts with education, reading books, attending seminars, listening to podcasts, and seeking advice from financial experts. And it continues with practice, applying the principles of financial literacy to our daily lives making informed decisions about our money, and learning from our financial successes and failures. Remember, it's a journey. A journey that begins with understanding the basic principles of finance and continues with the consistent application of these principles throughout our lives. Financial literacy is the foundation of wealth creation. It's the first step towards wealth mastery and a step that each one of us can take, starting today. The second step is to set clear, achievable goals and develop a plan to reach them. Now this is a step that's often overlooked, but it's crucial to financial mastery. Why, you may ask? Well, imagine trying to navigate through a city you've never been to without a map or GPS. You'd probably get lost, right? The same principle applies to your financial journey. Let's dive a little deeper into this. Setting financial goals is like setting the destination on your financial navigation. It gives you a clear picture of where you want to go. It could be anything from saving for retirement, buying a house, starting a business, or simply reducing your debt. But it's not enough to just have a goal. It needs to be specific, measurable, and time-bound. But here's the thing, having a destination is great, but you also need to know how to get there. This is where planning comes in. A plan breaks down your big goal into smaller, manageable steps. It's like having turn-by-turn -turn directions on your financial journey. Think about it this way, if you wanted to save a million dollars in 10 years, you wouldn't just wake up one day with that amount in your bank account, right? You'd need a step-by-step -step plan on how to save or earn that money. A plan also helps you stay on track. It's easy to get distracted or discouraged when you're working towards a big goal. But when you have a plan, you can always refer back to it to remind yourself of your next step. Another key aspect of planning is flexibility. Your plan is not set in stone. If you encounter a roadblock or if your circumstances change, you can adjust your plan accordingly. Remember, it's okay to take a detour as long as you're still heading towards your destination. So, setting financial goals gives you a destination. Making a plan gives you a roadmap, and being flexible allows you to strive through any detours or roadblocks you may encounter along the way. Remember, a goal without a plan is just a wish. So, set your financial goals, make your plan, and start your journey towards mastery today. The third step is mastering the art of budgeting. This is not about penny pinching or denying yourself life's pleasures. It's about understanding where your money goes and making conscious decisions about how to use it. Think of budgeting as a roadmap for your finances. 
You wouldn't start a journey without knowing your destination and the route you're going to take, would you? The same principle applies to your money. A budget helps you set clear financial goals and outlines the steps you need to take to achieve them. But how does one create an effective budget? It begins with tracking your income and expenses. Know what's coming in and what's going out. This gives you a clear picture of your financial situation and helps you identify areas where you can cut back and where you can invest more. Next, set your financial goals. What do you want to achieve in the short term and the long term? Maybe you want to pay off debt, save for a vacation, or build an emergency fund. Whatever your goals are, write them down and assign a cost to each. This will help you determine how much you need to save each month to reach your targets. Now, allocate your income. Decide how much you're going to spend on necessities like rent, utilities, and groceries, how much you're going to save, and how much you're going to set aside for discretionary spending. Make sure your budget aligns with your financial goals. Remember, a budget is not set in stone. It should be flexible and adaptable to changes in your income, expenses, and goals. Regularly review and adjust your budget as necessary. Budgeting is not a one-time activity but a continuous process. It requires discipline, commitment, and a keen understanding of your financial situation. It's not always easy, but the rewards are worth it. You'll have more control over your money, less stress about finances, and a clearer path to achieving your financial goals. A well-planned budget is the key to success. It's the tool that helps you turn your earnings into wealth. Master this skill, and you'll be well on your way to financial mastery. The fourth step involves developing a disciplined approach to saving. Now let's dive into the essence of savings discipline. It's like a secret superpower that propels you towards financial mastery. But what does it really mean to have savings discipline? It's not about depriving yourself of life's pleasures or living on a shoestring budget. It's about making conscious decisions to set aside a portion of your income consistently for future use. Visualize your savings as a golden goose. Every dollar you save is an egg. The more eggs you collect, the bigger your nest. And guess what? These eggs have a magical property. They can multiply. This is the power of compound interest, the magic formula that transforms your savings into a wealth-creating machine. Having a disciplined approach to saving means making saving a priority. It's about deciding to save first, rather than saving what's left after expenses. It's a shift from the paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck mentality to a wealth-building mindset. But how do you develop this discipline? First, you need a clear understanding of why you're saving. Are you saving for a rainy day, for retirement, to start a business, or perhaps for a dream vacation? Having a clear goal gives your savings a purpose and makes it easier to stay disciplined. Next, automate your savings. Set up an automatic transfer to your savings account each time you receive your paycheck. This way, you're saving without even thinking about it. Remember, consistency is key. Even small amounts saved regularly can add up to a significant sum over time. It's not about how much you save, but how consistently you do it, and finally be patient. Building wealth is not an overnight process, it takes time, but with discipline and consistency, your savings will grow, and so will your financial security. So let's make savings discipline our mantra. Let's make it a habit, a lifestyle. Because when it comes to wealth building, every dollar saved is a step closer to financial freedom. Discipline in saving is discipline in wealth building. The fifth step is cultivating an entrepreneurial mindset. Now you might be wondering, what does this have to do with financial mastery? Well, a lot. An entrepreneurial mindset is not just about starting your own business, it's about the way you approach challenges, opportunities, and life in general. This mindset is characterized by innovation and risk-taking. It's about seeing the world not as it is, but as it could be. It's about identifying problems and creating solutions, rather than waiting for others to solve them for you. It's about taking charge of your financial future, rather than leaving it in the hands of others. The entrepreneurial mindset is about resilience and adaptability. It's about learning from failure, not fearing it. Remember, every setback is a setup for a comeback. It's about being flexible and adapting to changing circumstances, rather than being rigid and stuck in old ways of thinking. It's constant learning and growth. The entrepreneurial mindset embraces the concept of lifelong learning. It's about being curious, asking questions, and seeking knowledge. It's staying updated with market trends and adapting your strategies accordingly. The entrepreneurial mindset is also about creating value and making a difference. It's not just making money, but about creating something of value that can benefit others. 
It's about making a positive impact in your community and the world at large. Having an entrepreneurial mindset means being proactive rather than reactive. Taking initiative, setting goals and working diligently to achieve them. It's about being disciplined, focused and committed to your vision. In the world of finance, this mindset can be a powerful tool. It can help you identify investment opportunities, navigate financial risks, and make informed decisions. It can inspire you to take charge of your financial future, to build wealth not just for yourself, but for generations to come. Remember, cultivating an entrepreneurial mindset is not a one-time event, but a lifelong journey. It requires constant effort, learning, and growth, but the rewards can be immense. The entrepreneurial mindset can give you the confidence to take calculated risks, the resilience to bounce back from setbacks, and the vision to see opportunities where others see obstacles. An entrepreneurial mindset can open the door to unlimited financial possibilities, so start cultivating yours today and take a step closer to financial mastery. The sixth step focuses on the power of emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence, often abbreviated as EI or EQ, is an essential skill on the path to financial mastery. It is the ability to understand, use, and manage your own emotions in positive ways. This is crucial when it comes to making sound financial decisions. Imagine you're in a situation where your investments are not performing as expected. It's easy to let fear or anxiety take over and make hasty decisions that could lead to even more losses. But with high emotional intelligence, you can step back, recognize your emotions, and avoid making impulsive decisions. Instead, you'll be able to analyze the situation rationally and make a more informed choice. Furthermore, emotional intelligence helps you empathize with others, which can be invaluable in business and investment scenarios. Understanding the motivations and emotions of others can give you a competitive edge, helping you to anticipate market trends or negotiate better deals. Let's not forget about the role of emotional intelligence in maintaining a positive mindset. Building wealth is not always a smooth journey, there will be ups and downs, successes and failures. Emotional intelligence helps you to stay resilient during challenging times and to stay motivated towards achieving your financial goals. It's also worth noting that emotional intelligence is not a fixed trait. It can be developed and improved over time by becoming more self-aware, managing your emotions effectively and improving your social skills. You can increase your emotional intelligence and enhance your financial decision-making abilities. Emotional intelligence can significantly impact your financial decisions and overall path to financial mastery. It helps you to make rational decisions, understand others, maintain a positive mindset, and stay resilient during challenging times. And the good news is, no matter where you currently stand in terms of emotional intelligence, you can always improve. Emotional intelligence can be a powerful tool in decision making. The seventh step is mastering your communication skills. You see, communication is a multifaceted tool, a proverbial Swiss army knife in the world of financial mastery. It's not just about conveying ideas, it's about fostering connections, building trust, and influencing decisions. In the realm of wealth creation, your communication skills can be the difference between a missed opportunity and a golden ticket. Imagine a scenario where you're delivering a pitch to potential investors. Your idea is revolutionary, your business plan is rock solid, but the way you communicate this information is lackluster. Despite having a winning concept, you fail to secure the funding simply because you couldn't communicate the value effectively. This instance underscores the importance of mastering your communication skills. But don't fret. Communication is a skill, not an inherent talent. And like any skill, it can be honed and improved. It's all about understanding your audience, being clear and concise, listening actively and responding appropriately. Firstly, understanding your audience is paramount. Whether you're talking to a room full of investors or negotiating a deal, you need to tailor your message to resonate with them. Secondly, clarity and conciseness are crucial. In the financial world, time equals money. So avoid unnecessary jargon and get straight to the point. Thirdly, active listening is equally as important as speaking. It's about truly understanding what the other party is conveying, which can lead to more productive conversations and better financial decisions. Lastly, appropriate responses are key. This means not just understanding what's been said, but responding in a way that moves the conversation forward constructively. So, whether you're negotiating a deal, discussing an investment, or simply networking, effective communication can open doors to opportunities, foster stronger relationships, and ultimately, impact your financial success. And remember, 
Mastering communication doesn't happen overnight. It's a process that requires practice and patience. But with persistence, you'll see the fruits of your labor reflected in your financial growth. Effective communication is a key skill in financial mastery. The eighth step is learning how to adapt to market trends. In the realm of financial mastery, adaptability isn't just a fancy buzzword. It's a crucial skill, a survival tactic, and a must for prosperity. Imagine the financial market as a vast, unpredictable ocean. It's ever-changing, with currents and waves that could either carry you forward or pull you under. The skill to adapt is your compass, steering you through the tumultuous waters towards your financial goals. Adaptability is about staying flexible, keeping your eyes open, and adjusting your sails according to the changing winds of the market. It's about being responsive rather than reactive. When the market shifts, those who are adaptable can shift their strategies and tactics accordingly. They don't just survive the storms, they thrive amidst the chaos. But how does one cultivate this adaptability? It starts with a willingness to learn and unlearn. Our financial journey is a continuous learning process. We need to stay updated, understand new trends, and be ready to discard outdated practices. It's about being open-minded, embracing change, and not being afraid to step out of our comfort zones. Moreover, adaptability involves a keen sense of observation. It's about understanding the subtle hints the market offers and decoding them to make informed decisions. It's about studying patterns, analyzing data, and recognizing potential opportunities or threats. Remember, the market will change, whether we like it or not. The economy will fluctuate, new technologies will emerge, and consumer behavior will evolve. The only constant is change itself. Those who are adaptable can ride these waves of change, while those who resist might find themselves struggling against the current. Adaptability is not just about surviving the market's ups and downs, it's leveraging these changes to our advantage. It's about turning challenges into opportunities and uncertainties into possibilities. Adaptability is the ability to turn the tide in our favor, regardless of the market's volatility. So keep learning, stay flexible, and be ready to adapt. Because in the world of finance, the one who adapts wins. Adaptability can be a game changer in financial success. The ninth step involves developing critical thinking and decision-making skills. These skills are not just beneficial but absolutely essential in the path to financial mastery. Critical thinking allows us to evaluate information objectively and make reasoned judgments. It's all about asking questions, examining assumptions, and weighing the evidence before making a decision. Imagine you're considering an investment opportunity. Critical thinking is the tool that helps you scrutinize the details, assess the risks, and predict potential outcomes. It's what enables you to separate the wheat from the chaff, the solid opportunities from the fleeting trends. Now let's talk about decision-making. In the world of finance, decisions are the steering wheel. They determine the direction of your financial journey. Whether it's deciding to save, invest, or even spend, every decision has a ripple effect on your financial health. But here's the thing, decision-making isn't just about making the right choice. It's also about understanding the consequences of that choice and being prepared to face them. It's about making informed decisions, not just educated guesses. It's about understanding that every choice, every decision carries with it a certain risk and being willing to accept that risk. Critical thinking and decision-making go hand in hand. One feeds into the other. Critical thinking helps you gather and assess information while decision-making is about using that information to choose a course of action. Together, they form a powerful tool set that can help you navigate the often complex world of finance. And remember, these skills are not static. They can and should be honed and refined over time. So don't be afraid to challenge yourself to step outside your comfort zone and to learn from your experiences. Because at the end of the day, it's these experiences that shape our thinking and inform our decisions. So there you have it, the ninth step towards financial mastery developing your critical thinking and decision-making skills. And don't forget, for more info, click the links in our description box below. Critical thinking and decision-making are at the heart of financial mastery. With these skills in your arsenal, you're well on your way to achieving your financial goals and paving your path to wealth. The final step on the path to financial mastery is building resilience. Resilience in this context is the ability to bounce back from financial setbacks learning, growing, and coming back stronger from it. Remember, every financial mogul you admire has faced obstacles and setbacks. What sets them apart is their resilience. The path to financial mastery isn't always smooth. There will be bumps, detours, and even roadblocks. Markets fluctuate, 
investments sometimes fail. But through it all, resilience is your most reliable companion. It's the force that keeps you moving forward regardless of the circumstances. Resilience is not something you're born with. It's a skill you develop through experiences, trials, and tribulations. It's having the courage to stare adversity in the face and say, you can't break me, I will rise no matter how many times I fall. Resilience is the key to long-term financial success.